Hey guys, it's Rick, Elijah Tooling. Give me two minutes of your time, I'll make it worth it. Check it out, we've got this vise set up. You know, I was asked today from a customer, how much force does this, this uh, Easy Vice Ultimate produce? Like, you know what? That's a perfect opportunity to do vi a video. We'll do it live in front of you. How's that? You know, we're all about numbers, and I'm going to be clear on this. We don't really recommend you take this vice to its absolute limits. Not because the vice won't hold it, but because the part that you're holding probably won't respond well to all that force. But if numbers is your game, we're going to show you today that this is an awesome product. Check it out. We're going to do it. All right. Here we go. We're going to stake the reputation of our company and this device on what's happening right now. Do I sound like a carnival barker? A little bit. Okay. Now I've reached the extent of my abilities. Let's get the cheater bar in here. Oh my goodness. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going. Uh-oh, we've exceeded, right now, we've exceeded the amount of force that some of our competitors can put on their vices. So let's just keep going though. Check it out, check it out. So what's really happening? We're at 8,500 here. And you can see that this wrench is starting to bend. So we've exceeded the ability of this wrench to apply this load. But obviously the vise, no problem. Okay, so guys, you can see we attain 8,300 we're just going to call it even 8,300 pound forced before our wrench started bending. I don't really know how high this will go uh, if we had, you know, if we just took the wrench to failure, but we really don't want to do that. But to summarize, this is our Easy Vice Ultimate setup. This is the adjustable side, this is the fixed side, this is a modular vise that's on a modular fixture. So just to clarify what we're doing here, um, I'm pretty excited about it. Are you?